the mind processed different thoughts. For the first time it processed the thought, if as an individual I feel so much indignity to what I am experiencing, what should an entire nation be going through? And in that, up to that thought, it is Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. From that thought was the beginning of Mahatma Gandhi. Even he wouldn't have known. After this thought is the beginning, even he wouldn't have known. We all take up an idea and move in the direction. Somehow as days unfold and the responsiveness of the world and those divine vibrations that factors into those dreams manifest into possibilities that we are never aware of. We are never aware of. And somewhere the journey had begun. He didn't know it. The farmer has already thrown the seed inside the soil, watered it and gone. Inside the mother earth, the seed, the kernel has already broken. Farmer does not know this. One day he will see the sprout above the soil. And that day he will begin to believe that it has sprouted. But the sprouting happened much before the farmer noticed it. Somehow there lying down in the platform, there was a rearrangement of thoughts and that was the beginning of a historic beginning which later we knew has unfolded. And I can give you infinite such instances of the school teacher waking up to a sunrise as a school teacher and by the end of the day, seed of Mother Teresa was already sown. Somewhere because he had something, somebody sent him to this acting school and here he was in the acting school and the competition for with K. Balachandar who was the chief guest and K. Balachandar after judging all those performances as a question answer session and people ask questions like will you give me a break? What do you feel that you have introduced Kamala Hassan or what do you feel that you were the one behind? And all these questions are being asked. One individual gets up there and asks this question. Other than acting, what do you expect from an actor? Sometimes questions is all that you require because you never know what the answer will unfold. The questions of Arjuna was asked only to plead Krishna, allow me to run back home. Little Arjuna himself would have realized that his questions will unfold one of the most powerful wisdom to the world. The question that he asked was impulsive. Why did the apple fall down? Or the question Steve Jobs asked was purely impulsive. Can't we come up with some design of a product that can break the status quo in the world? Why is there mediocrity and status quo in the world? Is there not a way by which we can break it? See Subramanian, after begging Canada for two shiploads of food in the 1960s, when India was predicted to die of starvation within two weeks time in the 1960s. The entire collective stock of food that was available in India could not have fed this country for more than two weeks. And you had to go and beg Canada which agreed to send two shiploads of food and where is two shiploads of food in a country like India? Came back and with tears in his eyes, he asked M.S. Swaminathan, Is there no answer to we begging the world to feed us? A question. Sometimes you never know what unfolds out of this. And a very simple question that was asked, and the answers that unfolded from these questions triggered possibilities which have been absolutely infinite. So sometimes all that requires is the daringness to question what is already working for you. 
Sometimes just because something is working for you and we don't want the courage to question what is already working for us, we just go into this repetitive drill of stagnant success. I call it stagnant success because if it's progressive success, then there must be geometric progression. If your growth is only arithmetic progression, that is because you have not dared to ask a question. And somewhere in the daringness with which questions were asked, science has unfolded. Daringness with which question was asked, green revolution was born. Daringness with which questions were asked, great enterprises and organizations have been built. Especially when everything is going right for you, you stop questioning. And because we stop questioning, sometimes we turn our good to become the enemy of the best. Because we don't question what is already working for us, we turn our good to become the enemy of the best. And these simple questions, which were very impulsive in nature, not necessarily very thought out, and there was this impulsive question that was asked, other than acting, what do you expect from an actor? In that moment of egoistic arrogance, Balachandra just discounted saying that stupid question. Went back to his Warren Road house, and in his own words, he says, somehow that question didn't leave me. Other than acting, what do you expect from an actor? That question didn't leave me. So I told one of them, go and get that boy. And he was brought and he was asked, because I don't have an answer, I wanted to ask the questioner itself if he has an answer. And he was asked, what do you mean? Other than acting, what do you expect from an actor? Other than acting, what do you have to offer? And he said, speed and style. I don't have acting, but I can offer speed and style. Rest is history. One of the highest paid actors in entire Asia. And it all begins with just that one. And I'm telling you that possibility. This is not story of Rajinikan. This is not story of Gandhi. This is not story of Steve Jobs. This is your story. A massive turning point in your life is one question away. 